Inside Illustrator, we have a gradient, but there are no halftone dots. This is appearing as a continuous tone, but to print it, you need halftones. Now that can be done if you have a rip, but you can make your own halftones in Photoshop, but we're gonna set both ends of the gradient to black. Now this looks like it's zero, but if we double click, you can see that's at 5%, meaning we're gonna carry dot all the way through the end. So when we drag that black down on the end, we want to double click and then set that percentage to five. Now we're going to copy the gradient and flip over to Photoshop and create a new document. This is where we want to switch it to inches and the resolution to 300, hit OK, and now paste as pixels and hit OK. Now we'll switch this mode to bitmap, which will flatten the layers. We're going to select halftone screen, hit OK, and I'm going to drop the frequency down to 20 just so we can see these big dots. Make sure for screen printing you're at 22 and a half. Shape, ellipse, round, they're very similar. Hit OK, and now we'll select all and copy. Flip back to Illustrator. We can actually delete this now. Paste those halftones in, and I'll use the Align menu to align those. And now we can actually color it the red to give you a visual of what the print is going to look like. But there's your halftones.